Um, this is what I wanted to show you next. This is, um, well, first of all, this is just WordPress. And you can see, okay, there's some HFP content type and um, I can quit. Uh, uh, I, it's always correct, it doesn't matter what. So um, it's just some content and below that you see some strange lines. So it's some, some text that I added and then we find this weird thing with a square bracket and some weird looking code and it says href score value is score and id is 12 and uh, it says points and so it is weird and um we have something similar down here so there's different text and we have some different code in brackets it's called short code that's um something that wordpress provides um yeah and it doesn't do much now it's weird because we don't have that plugin installed that i was talking about and uh, I wanted to show you how to install that because it's not done kind of in the regular way that you would do it. So uh, first of all, um, this is about scores. So we can have a look at that maybe first. So if you you know WordPress or the, the um, HRF integration into WordPress, then it looks kind of that way. And we could go to HRF course content uh, or the course content to content. And I don't know, we could have a look at that one. Um, that's a question that you just saw. And maybe you know you can we can go to results so um, that is all that the WordPress integration has to offer it tells me okay WordPress that is that's me uh, I got one point um, that was the, the, the thing that I just tried maximum score is one and uh, yeah obviously I opened that <laughs> like uh, sometime before it like briefly before I started streaming and just now I answered that question so and because I opened it some time ago it, it took me 23 minutes so that is what uh, WordPress offers and it's not much if you want to have like um, courses you maybe you want to see the answers uh, answers to the questions that the user gave or you need more information and you don't want to track just just one thing and that is not something I added um, that might be added to the WordPress plugin but I guess the core team has too much to do and it might be quite some work so um, I didn't do that, but um, that university that I was talking about before, um, they wanted me to create a plugin to help them show the users their scores. Uh, because, of course, as a user, I could go to the back end if I am logged in and if I have an account at all, and then I could see my own results. Like if I click here, I could see the results of that I scored in these different um, tasks. But they want something else. So we've basically seen what I wanted to achieve um, here in the front end. They wanted to be able to just have these short codes and these short codes should be replaced by, in this case, by the uh, by the score. That's why it says value is score that I achieved and by the maximum score in that case. So max score would be this one. And um, if we install the plugin, so maybe I should just install it and make some things much clearer. So usually when you want to, to install um, a, a, a plugin in WordPress, you go to, well, of course, plugins, and you would go to add new, and then you're in this fancy um, repository that way you can just search for things and install things. And it doesn't work that way because, um, I mentioned it before, I did created this plugin as a contractor, but I cannot deliver support. So um, I cannot maintain it, I cannot give updates and, and, and help with questions because um, <laughs> it would be my free time and it, uh, well, kind of, I don't want to. So um, the way around this is you can, you can always upload plugins yourself. You just have to download them from somewhere and that somewhere is over here. So again, I will of course share the link in the, the chat and uh, later on in the video descriptions. So that is basically GitHub um, where there's source code and in some cases you're lucky because uh, the source code is structured in a way that you can simply reuse it and in this case uh, you can so you just have to click on this green button here which says code and then you click on download zip and it will download well, a zip file and I'll just put it on my desktop here so um, that's where it is now and that is what we have to install so we, we now go to back to WordPress up here you see this button up here which says upload plugin so and if I click that I can just choose the file that I just downloaded on my desktop here it is the zip file and I open it and I say install now now it's installed and now I click on activate plugin and that's all you have to do there are no settings no whatever 
Um, and uh, we can have a look at the, oh no, we can go to the front end directly. So if we take a look now, so now it says last time you achieved zero points, it says zero because it, um, yeah, it has to run once, unfortunately, because uh, until it can track the, the uh, score. That's a shortcoming of HRP, and we can close on that. So, and um, now, if I now do this, so, and here it doesn't matter because all the answers are correct. That's how I set it up. So if I click on no and click on check, I get one point, and you, s you already see, okay, that changed. So now it's one point out of, out of one. Uh, okay, well, the S doesn't make sense, but um, that's how it works. And down here, it's uh, we have this, this uh, pizza exercise where you have to choose um, what ingredient usually can be found on the pizza. And uh, it already says there are two correct ingredients to choose from, your score is zero and zero percent. So uh, we could try that, maybe we can get one correct. So let's uh, see we, if we want to have one correct. This is a, tom a tomato, it might be pretty small on your screen, but this is a tomato and I say, okay, I want to have tomatoes on my pizza and I'm pretty sure this is kind of usual. And if I click on check, I will get, again, um, one point out of two. And you can see uh, now my score is one and it says 50%. And um, well, that is just done by um, by adding these short codes. And uh, you have three of those. Um, you can have uh, the score, the uh, the maximum score and the percentage. And you can arrange that the way you want to. So one thing, for example, you could do, you could create a course in, in WordPress. And uh, of course here users could see their scores. It doesn't make much sense because they see it anyway, but the first thing that this uh, plugin does, it doesn't require you to be logged in to, s to see the score. So um, even though if I wasn't logged in, I would see the score in the front end, of course, and also it would be chained. Uh, it would be chained. It would be stored in the browser, so you don't have to be logged in, and it's stored in the browser. And when you later return, you will still see your score, uh, which is kind of useful on WordPress. Um, yeah. Um, so what you could do with it, for example. Uh, could you could put it on um, b below the the content the way you want to you've seen that you just have to edit your your post or you could create some something like this uh, it's called scores up here that's a extra page where it's like, okay let's make kind of a table when with an overview uh, where you list all the tasks that you have and uh, you can see the score so this is what I what I achieved and I, um, um, do the exercise again that will change of course and uh, maybe we have, can have a look at that again, how, how this is created. So if I go back to the back end in WordPress and I go to pages, then we will see my scores pages and we can edit it. So, well, that's actually all you have to do. You create a table and um, well, then you add what you want to add here. That's the, the text, the exercise that you want. And then you just include these strange looking, well, they're called short code. So it's, um, Whatever you, you uh, whatever no you, you have to uh, put this h 5 score into the square bracket and then say value score and that will give you the score and then you have to add the ID um, of the the interaction that you want to see the score of so you can really design the way you want to and I know it's not the user friendly way it might be it could be done differently but that is what I um, had to do as a contractor so uh, please don't nag me with oh couldn't you do this could you I could but um, I don't have the free time unfortunately so um, well um, if you need more um, explanation for that you can uh, always go to um, the source code there's a readme which also tells you how to install it and um, yeah, some of the shortcomings maybe that are related to changes that Apple included in their, oh, why is it? Oh, it's in here. So um, the latest version of Safari doesn't keep track of things in local browser storage beyond seven days. If you haven't um, used it in seven days, it just deleted. Um, so you might, might want to know that. And, and again, here's some, some small explanations what you what you can, can do with it. So. Um, yeah, maybe it is useful for you. Then feel free to use that plugin.